Uh, what's good everyone? We're here at Mad Kicks in Blue Waters and we have a very special guest today, Mr. Badr Al Safar. I'm just going to do a quick little Q&A, sneaker shopping kind of run through the store and yes. Yeah, thank you guys for having me. Yeah man, no thank worries, you. no worries. Yeah. Yes, sweet. Um, I just wanted one question first. Yes. All right, so you're one of the biggest TikTokers and Instagrammers in the game right now. <laughs> so I'm just like curious, a little bit curious, like what inspired you to start making content like the way you do? Because you do a lot of mad stuff yeah. in your videos. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, my stomach inspired me to create the food videos that I create. Usually, whenever like I get hungry, I start eating. Eating. Things I enjoy, from <laughs> yummy sneakers to ketchup bottles. Whenever I have cravings, I just start eating the whole lot. <laughs> the whole lot, the whole lot. Anything yeah. goes. <laughs> and, <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then I also was into creating sneaker content very yeah. early in the days, like when Instagram first started. Yes. So it was, was it to like create a little buzz or because maybe you see a lot, you do a lot of mad, mad stuff. <laughs> yeah, I actually like to create stuff. very fun, entertaining videos and a lot of people really enjoy watching my content. Yeah. So obviously we've seen, we've seen now you have an absolutely massive collection. <laughs> yeah. Um, but when, when, when did you start collecting? I, like, what's, what's, your, what's your pair? Like, actually, your... I started collecting sneakers back in high school. Okay. But back then, Jordans and Dunks and these sneakers weren't very popular back then. So I used to collect designer sneakers. I used to wear like Christian Louboutins, oh. Giuseppe's, okay. Louis Vuitton, like yeah. all the designer sneakers. I feel you. Spike, the spikes. On yeah, them. the spikes. <laughs> <on> <laughs> those, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, yeah. so then when like you obviously you have a load load of these and we see you got the off white Chicago. Yeah, on your one feet. of my most favorite sneakers. Yeah, is the off white Chicago's of course. Would you say that's your most expensive pair? Not my most expensive pair. My most okay. expensive pair would probably be the undefeated Jordan Four. Ah, <laughs> nice. Yeah, I remember the first time that I saw that pair as well. It's yeah, just, it, yeah, it kind of it's a special one. It's very, it's special, very, very special, very, very rare, very. Expensive. Yeah. How did you get it? Actually, long story with my brother. Like he had to outbid a rapper, and then have, <laughs> and then he made the seller fly over here As so he could, so he could get it. Yeah, yeah exactly. Man. So it was nice. Special story. Yeah, yeah man. It's always, yeah. always nice when, yeah, when you got that little it, memory to go with the, the sneaker. Bit. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which um, and then yeah. So have you? Obviously, you've got a lot. But I think, is there any that you haven't got here? I still don't have <laughs> the green air forces, hopefully getting them soon. Mm -hmm. Other than that, pretty much I have most of or all of these sneakers. Yeah. Cause... Especially the Louis Vuitton Air Force Ones. Mm. They're a very iconic collaboration. Very, 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 nice. very unique. Especially obviously now RP that he passed. But now yeah. They are, they are a proper staple. Yeah, it's so sad what yeah. happened to Virgil. You know, it was very shocking news because he was like a good friend of mine. Oh, really? And he invited me to his off-white fashion show. He sent me a personal invitation. Crazy. To go and watch his show. Oh. He invited me to his private uh, museum yeah. in Paris. That's and it. he saw me, we were both wearing the same jacket. <laughs> and he called me from the crowd. And yeah. He told me, get over, come through. <laughs> Okay. And we took a picture and we started talking and then he invited me to the show. Oh. I went to see his uh, the Louis Vuitton fashion show. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's amazing. It was the last show that he actually attended yeah. as well. So that's sad. As, so you must you yeah. must have like the full the full set. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's good yes. man. Alright, so we see you obviously you got like Supreme hoodie, Supreme pants kitted out. Um, but where did the love for the brand begin and like where's, what's the, what's the obsession like with it? Where's your passion from for it? Around 2013, 2014, I was in London with my brother. And then back then to register for a Supreme, a spot in Supreme, you had to actually meet up in a random location. Yeah. Ah. Just so you could register. We had to run to you West had to London. Run to <laughs> a specific location, random every week. There wasn't like an online registration option to do that. Yeah. So I used to wait with my brother in line in the cold. Yeah. Just to get a spot, you know, to get in. So it was way back in the day and I really liked their creative products and their unique items and they had great collaborations 
Yeah. I like using their accessories on a daily to day basis with my videos. Yeah, see with the axe. With my life hacks <laughs> and my satisfying videos I use the Supreme Axe. Yeah. So I like their creativity with their products and their unique collaborations. Yeah, okay. Uh, so it's been great chatting with you, but I got one last question um, before I let you before we move on to like the challenge. Um, what what um, piece of advice would you give to like young creators that are trying to trying to get into the game but are afraid of like like say critics and like consequences? I'd say create content and whatever you're passionate about, because whatever you post online, you'll be getting both negative and positive feedback. So just follow your passion and be creative, unique, and think out of the box, and you will succeed. Uh, we've got one last thing for you. Um, we're gonna just play a little game um, where you just guess the shoe, and then hopefully you can come out with a prize. All right, yeah, let's, let's do it over here. <laughs> so not at all. Alright, so just a little game, just gonna have to blindfold it well, without seeing guess the shoe that's in the box, so we'll see what you got. Alright. The Yeezy 350 Beluja. <laughs> that was too easy. <laughs> Unlucky sir, it was in fact the Jordan 2 Off-White. So not halal mode. The Jordan 36 Orange. So very close. <laughs> easy. It was easy, no? So, so close, man. But it was Jordan 4. <laughs> so not halal mode. <laughs> Last one. Easy. The Catalyst Yeezy 750s. Not quite, brother. <laughs> it was, in fact, the Louis Vuitton Air Force One. <laughs> So not halal mode. Unfortunately, you didn't win this time. I was close though. It's kind of, if, well, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> but we're gonna do some like retail therapy for you now. So pick up your mood a little bit, even if it wasn't even dampened. All right. <laughs> and, Abby's, and Abby's gonna just come in and just take you around and see if you want anything. Can I get the Jordan 1 trophy room in a 10 and a half? Yeah. I think you need the Supreme Ladder so you can grab it. And since I love 7-Eleven as a kid, I love to always drink their slushies. The 7-Eleven Dunks in a 10 and a half? Yeah, of course. And can I also have the Habibi Come to Dubai Dunks in a 10 and a half? Yeah. Since I don't have the green Air Force One yet, so I'd like to have Air Force Ones, so I'll grab this one in 10 and a half as well. And also the Jordan 1 Dior Lowe's in a 10 and a half as well. Of course. So halal mode. I will throw in some Mad Kick socks for you as well. Thank you. It's all right. Would you like to pay cash or card? Card. when you're ready. Thank you. That is for you. Thank you. Thank you for shopping with us. So we've seen you cash out on a whole bunch of pairs. We hope you enjoyed them. Thank you for shopping with us. Thank you for having me. You guys are so halal mode. <laughs> and we hope to see you soon. Take it easy. Thank you. And then we'll see you in the next episode.